Welcome, Breathe. Thanks for being here with thank us. You, I you. love your outfit. Thank oh you. my god. <laughs> thank you. Thought a flight suit was appropriate. <laughs> You arrived yesterday, right? Because I thought you went to Mass, but I was so happy to see that. I did. It was so beautiful. One of the most beautiful museums I've ever been to. The way that they hang the art, how it's yes. suspended, beautiful. is unbelievable. Oh, I'm just noticing there's like a full... Is there like a, <laughs> an obstacle course over there? Wow. Everyone is so here for you. fun. No. Hi. <laughs> Can they hear us? They, yes. they can hear you. Oh, good. Okay, good. And we are in that uh, panel as oh, well. Oh, I'm over oh, there yeah. too. Oh, yeah. wow. Right Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. And Bri, you were there in the panel. How was for showing to everyone new footage of Captain Marvel? So, so exciting. I feel so grateful that I was able to come and share some more of the film with you that we're so proud of. And, you know, when... Usually when this stuff comes out, the trailers, if I'm just at home in my bed, it's not very often that I'm, I get to be with a crowd of people and feel their excitement. So it makes it feel like the work was worth it. <laughs> it's yeah. almost like theater, right? Because you have the, the reaction of the, 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 the audience. Yeah, it made, right me, away. made me emotional. I yeah. won't lie, it made me emotional. Yeah. And I, I was on the set on Captain Marvel's set on back on June, I think. And uh, one of the things that I remember you saying is about the physical preparation. How made you aware of your own body? So can you talk a little about how was this preparation of being aware of your own straight, of your own body as a woman? Yeah, I mean, so I ended up spending nine months training. It was basically the only thing I did. It was a full-time job. Six months, it was an hour and a half a day, and then the three months leading up to it, I was training twice a day, so it was around four hours a day. Um, and my body, because I'm a woman, I always just wanted my body to not be part of the conversation. I wish that my body would just disappear. I didn't want it to be an object to be discussed or thought of or looked at. And the opportunity to get strong for this role really changed my perception, and I realized that I was not allowing myself to fully utilize the vessel that I've been given and that my body is a tool. My body is this incredible thing that can do so many things and my brain is plastic and I can retrain it to do yeah. incredible things. So it was, a, it was a big change for me and something that I've continued doing. I'm still studying judo and boxing because it's, it's really changed my life and changed my mind and um, I think you can see, I think you can tell on screen with who Carol is, the persona, and also I did the majority of my stunts, so you can tell, I think. I think you can see it on screen. <laughs> How was your reaction when you first saw the action figure? Because, and you, you have this extra head as well. You made a joke. Yeah. You can <laughs> change your hands. I know, I was happy to finally figure out what the additional head is. <laughs> um, it's so cool. It's so, it's such a weird thing because, you know, they like scan your body and then turn you into a toy. So it's very bizarre to be like, my, all of my training is in that toy. That was the thing that kept tripping yeah. me out. I was like, wow, nine months of training, and this is what my body looks like, and now it's a toy. Like, that's so cool. It's like forever, forever instilled in this little object. <laughs> and you said uh, in the panel that you eat a lot of Brazilian food. What was your favorite? Ooh, so I had some, I do love the cheesy bread. What oh. is that called? It's pão the champion. Queijo. Oh my gosh. In, in Portuguese, it's yeah. pão de queijo. Pau de queijo? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could eat that all day. It's awesome, right? It's like, why didn't I know about this yeah, sooner? Every time I, I, Everybody, I go to the every States, restaurant I, I, should I, have I always, that. Oh, the thing that I miss the most is pão de queijo. <laughs> yes. So good. And I always think, why does they don't have this here? Because it's so good. <laughs> yeah, and then last night we actually, I don't even know how I found this, but I was cooked in someone's home last night, a woman oh. named Helia who is incredible, and she cooked some traditional food as well for us last night. So it was like a fish stew. Um, and what is that? It's like a nut and I think shrimp, like powdery sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So good. And what is your drink? Cap Capriana? Capirinha. Cap yeah, I had one of those very strong. <laughs> <laughs> so very strong, yeah. and it worked very well. <laughs> yeah. And what is your feeling, your sensation, when you see a Captain Marvel cosplay, and especially the little girls? Uh, it was really surreal. This this Halloween, I was passing out candy, and a girl walked up in the Captain Marvel costume. We were like, "Who are you?" And she's like, "Captain Marvel." And I was like in a full wig and stuff. She didn't recognize me <laughs> at all. Um, 
and that was like, like I said, so much of this um, with film, it feels a little distant. We make the movie separate from all of the fans who watch it. It's gonna play in theaters all over the world and I won't be there. It's gonna feel like I'm there because I'm on the screen, but I'm not there. So these moments of, of connection, of getting to see firsthand what it means to people and how this character is representative of them, uh, feels really good. It's like very grounding. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you. you. We have to say thank you to everybody. Galera, todo amor para Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank you.